Hello and welcome. It is March 4th, 2025, Tuesday. It is a beautiful 66 degrees sunny weather that we're experiencing here in Los Angeles, California. I wanted to jump on and make this quick video because of an inquiry that recently came up as to what happens if one is trading price action pivoter V5AI and the model is enabled on NinjaTrader. If in the middle of the day, your computer crashes, your internet crashes, your electricity goes out, whatever the case may be, you have to literally turn it off because of an emergency and you want it to sit in front of the computer and that's your trading style. You at least want to keep an eye on it. You have to turn it off. But what happens in that case when you want to come back and turn it on? Well, I wanted to demonstrate that today in this video because that's what I did. At approximately 1040, I enabled the strategy that's Pacific Standard Time, 1040 Pacific Standard Time. I enabled the strategy so that it starts looking for trades a few minutes after, so at 10.45, as it does take five minutes for the higher edge AI model, the LSTM machine learning model, which is running in real time to index itself so it runs super fast when it's producing those signals. So I set it to run from 10.45 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, obviously, until 12.30 p.m. my time. So that's what it was set for. I, just as a sort of a habit i always select monday through friday here even though today is just tuesday i wanted to demonstrate this only for tuesday i'm going to turn this off right after this uh, this video is made but that's what i wanted to demonstrate moreover i made one other change because i saw the volatility that this day was having and the other change that i made was right there where i essentially instead of 800 dollars for the hard money stop where the trailing stop essentially would be 50% away from the unrealized peak high. I reduced it by 100, 50, you know, $50 reduction for the unrealized minimum peak profit plus the AI signal. Okay, so I did that as well. So 700, 350 as opposed to 800, 400. So with this one, guys, I wanna bring this to your attention again. I've discussed this in pretty much all the other videos, but this is an important uh, distinction here. So this is the 350 that you see here is in fact hard money, but it's plus adverse price action has to be there plus an adverse AI signal versus the trade direction that you're in needs to be there as well. So that 350 is essentially just the initial trigger. The other two elements must be there as well. Adverse price action and an adverse AI signal versus the trade direction that you're in. My profit target was still, still $1,200 and my stop was $500. Okay, that's still unchanged. And I'm still trading, of course, one contract, as is the case in every video. So at 10.53, it found the first one. It was right here. It almost never looked back. It went straight up book the profit target. Obviously, there was a lot more activity after that. It went to 58.74, so that's a lot of money still left on the table. But again, we had the profit target at 1,200 and it hit that profit target relatively quickly within 10 minutes. The second trade I wanted to discuss, and I want to discuss one other item after I discuss this. So you'll notice that we had a $500 stop, but this is not a $500 loss right here. So what's going on? Okay. Well, it got the trigger when it hit 350. So the unrealized peak profit here was 362.50. So that first trigger has been hit. But first we need adverse price action, which we got. And we need an adverse AI signal, which we ultimately got as well. And so once we got the AI signal that was adverse and we had an adverse price action, the system is already designed to move the stop as long as it is a lower amount than the risk per trade that you have. So if you had $500, which is what I have in this case, and the stop signal that it's getting is less than $500, it's going to move it to try to reduce your losses as much as possible. So that's what happened in, in this trade. So let's take a look at the actual trades. So this is the overall and this is the 325 lost and this is the 1200 uh, profit target that I was mentioning. So that's that's the loss. Now, is there an added advantage? So this question came up in that inquiry. Is there an added advantage of any kind? If we turn on the system closer to RTH hours, the answer is yes, there is an added advantage because now the model has been trained so that it is looking for the latest volatility that the market has experienced right before RTH. There is an added benefit because now the model has the latest information. In my opinion, there is an advantage to having it get to as close as you can to RTH. And even if you miss the RTH open, even if you open it in the middle of the day as I did actually past the middle of the day. It was around 1040 when I enabled it. You do it at that time, there's still an advantage because now it's it has all of the data 
for RTH as well as the Globex session before we, it went into RTH. So I hope that makes sense. This is all that I wanted to share with this video. You saw what I did. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time, take care of yourselves and God bless.